Hello everyone, welcome to Money Chess Kids. Today I show the game played by Daria and Monica, and this beautiful game complete in just 19 moves. And let's see how the game play. The game starts with the pawn to e4, g6, knight f3, bishop to g7. And here you have the push defense with the classical system. And after white play d4, the white is slightly better in this position as the white gaining control of the center of the board. And the game continues with d6. Then white keep on developed by playing knight c3. Then the black play knight f6. Bishop to e3. And after this, the black go for short castle. And here, this is the first firing move, and the white is slightly better in the position. Then the game continues with the white develop another bishop to d3. c6 was played. And after this, knight to e2. And this knight, the idea can play from the knight to c3, e2, then play knight to g3. And the idea is to bring knight to the king's side to go for the attack. And later on, the knight can continue to go to h5 and continue attack the black position. So, after this move, the black play b5. And here, the white play queen to d2. And this allows the white to play for a queen side castling. And it also allows the white to go for king side castling. And here, the white have the two options to castling the both sides. Then the game continues with bishop to b7. c3 was played, trying to strengthen up the pawn. And you have, here we have a very nice pawn structure. Then the black play a5. After this, the knight continued to play g3, trying to bring the knight over to the king's side and after this b4 was played and here this is the first 10 move and still the white is better in this position and here after this move now the white start to launch an attack by playing h4 and this h4 give white a better and this pawn will keep on the attack to attack the pawn and also if I know to check the king so after this move the pawn capture b takes c3 and the pawn capture back b takes c3 and after this move if you capture with the queen then the black can play a queen to b6 trying to attack the pawn and also can have the attack on the pawn at d4 and this will just give the equal game and the knight can be active to move around such as continue to play a knight to g4 and attack the bishop and you bring up the, the pawn the bishop at g7 to be active So, after this move, the pawn at b just captured the pawn at c3. Then, the white continue to attack with the pawn h. The black continue to play the pawn h5. And here, now the white play bishop to h6, trying to capture the bishop at g7. 
After this move, the knight just moved to g4. And here, the knight is attacking the bishop. And we have two pieces to attack it. So therefore, after this move, the bishop capture and the king capture again. And now come a very nice move from the white. And this is one of the position sacrifice that the white played and will be winning in the game and after 15 move. And this nice move is a knight capture the pawn at h5 and check the king. So let's see after this move, knight capture, and this is a very nice sacrifice. And in the actual game, the black capture back with the pawn. And if you see, after capture with the pawn, the white is winning the game. And capturing the pawn will be a tactical blunder and the white is winning and will be winning and mid in the ninth move. I give a couple of seconds to figure out how the white at this portion can continue and win the game. Well, congratulations for those who found the answer. And for those who like to enjoy the show, here are the moves that the white play. And after this move, the queen to g5 and check the king. And you can see this is a very strong attack. And after this, the pawn also can push up to open up the bishop to go for the check. And in the actual game, the black choose to move the king to h7 as there's nothing the black can block the check and after this move the white play e5 and after this move this allowed the open check from the white and here you can see the queen is attacking all the foul so here, after this move, the black play f5 to block it, and this block still cannot save the game because that is a special move that the white can play at this position. I give a couple of seconds to find what is a special move that the white play in this position. Well, congratulations for those who found the answer. And for those who like to enjoy the show, here are the special moves that the white play. And in this move, the black just moved pawn to move at the first time. And that is the white pawn at the side of the black pawn. And this allowed a special move which is called an person. And with this person, the white pawn can capture the pawn and this is called a e takes f6 and after capture you allow the bishop to open check the king and with this check the king only has limited place to move as it's being fully controlled by the white and with this check nothing can block the check and the other way is to move the king to h8 and after this move, the queen to g7 and this is a checkmate at the 19th move. And with this, the white win the game. So back to this position. If you move the king away such as king to h8, then the queen can just capture the pawn at h5 and continue check the king. So after capture the pawn at h5 and check the king and now you can see if the black block the check with the knight the queen will just control and now 
the king just have to move to g8 and the queen can go to h7 checkmate protected by the shot so if you just move the king to g7 the queen will just continue to go h7 and checkmate and if you just move up to g7 again the queen will go to h7 and it will be a checkmate as nothing the king can move as another square at f6 is being attacked by the pawn so back to this position of sacrifice one of the possible way to save the game is to move the king to g8 or you can move the king to h8 and if you move the king to h8 then the pawn is attacking the knight and the knight just move away the knight to g3 after this you can just move the pawn to e5 to continue open the file to prevent the queen to go to g5 to capture the knight so after this move h5 can be played from the white and keep on the attack and bring up the rook to attack and now if you push the pawn up then the knight will just continue to attack and after this move the white is clearly meaning with this position as well and let's say if you move the king to g8 the queen will go to g5 and this queen will attack the knight and let's say if you protect with the bishop then the white can continue to play knight to f6 then after this move the white is still winning and the white can just continue to play a e5 pawn and here if your queen going to e8 to defense then the white can just go for castling and continue to attack the black and let's say in this position if you move away the knight such as a knight to f6 then the knight will just capture the knight and after pawn capture then the queen will go to h6 and this queen will continue to attack and after this move you will bring the pawn up to attack for example after queen to d7 then you can bring the knight continued for another position sacrifice and this the queen will go to h7 and checkmate so nothing much the black can do and if you capture with the pawn then the pawn will capture and after open up the file it's easy for the white to win the game so let's say if you push the pawn to f6 then the pawn can just capture the pawn and after capture now the queen also will go to the h8 check and bring the rook to continue check and win the queen as well and let's say if you just capture with the rook now the queen will continue to check and if the king move to f7 then you can just bring the pawn to attack the rook and also the queen can capture the rook so if you move the rook to e6 now the rook to h7 it will be a checkmate so the white has many ideas to attack after this move and let's say if you use the pawn to capture then the bishop you will go to c4 and continue to check and after check the rook will continue to h7 and continue to check and win the queen as well so let's say 
the bishop to c4 and check if the king moved to e7 then the rook continue to check at h7 then the rook to d6 now the queen just captured the rook and continue to check and the rook is attacking the queen then if you move the king to c7 then you have a queen capture the pawn and you have the diagonal check and after this move the king have to move away such as king b6 then now you can bring another rook into the, the board and check the king and after the rook to b1 check then you can king see the king is very limited place and the way is to play king a7 and the final move will be a queen to c5 and checkmate the king or you also can play a queen takes a5 but this will give a more longer way and after this the knight can come up then the queen can just capture and check the king and if you use the bishop to capture then the rook can continue to capture and check and after bishop blocks and now you have either of the rook rook takes the bishop and it will be a checkmate or you can use the rook at d takes b7 and it will be a very nice checkmate as well for example rook takes b rook d takes b7 and it will be a checkmate and so with this thank you